Diesel engines are more efficient than gasoline engines for three reasons. Number one, diesels have higher compression ratios. That gives them greater thermodynamic efficiency. Secondly, there's no throttle plate in there, making them breathe easier. And third, a lot of people don't know this, there's a lot more energy in diesel fuel. In fact, a gallon of diesel weighs a pound more than a gallon of gasoline. But there's some drawbacks to diesels too. Number one, they're a lot more costly to manufacture. Number two, it's very expensive to try and get diesels to meet very stringent U.S. emission standards. And thirdly, at least in the United States, the price of diesel fuel fluctuates wildly. But what if? What if you could merge the best attributes of a diesel with a gasoline engine? You'd end up with much higher efficiency, lower emissions, and lower cost. Well, guess what? General Motors just did it. This is what they call a homogeneous charge compression ignition engine. GM came out with the first drivable HCCI engine, and in fact, they beat Toyota and Honda to the punch. We met up with Matthias Alt. He's the head of GM's global HCCI engine effort. We went to him because we wanted to figure out how the system works. Well, we, well, what we have here today is kind of the breakthrough we have in a combustion. The, the holy grail of combustion was uh, what we call HCCI. It's been around for years. But uh, lately we've developed all the electronics and the fuel injection system to be able to do that uh, not just in a lab but also drive it around a vehicle. This is uh, applied on a gasoline engine but it still works in a way that we compress the gas, the mixture of fuel and air um, to the point where we reach temperature where it auto ignites. That uh, gives us a very clean, efficient combustion that's very fast without a flame, creates very low NOx emissions. Uh, but uses less fuel to create the same power. We, we constantly analyze um, our combustion and we have a sensor in each cylinder that measures the combustion and within microseconds we calculate how we want to control the fuel and air for the next combustion. So th this is where the, the breakthrough in, in controls helps us that within microseconds for each cylinder at up to 3000 RPM we can calculate the next combustion and, and set uh, all our parameters right to have it ideal, very efficient, very clean. Um, at the point where the, we get to the very fast combustion creates very high uh, pressures. Now uh, at a certain point we exceed the structure of our gasoline engine we switch back to conventional mode because we still want to have the power and performance of a conventional engine. Uh, if you want to press the foot down on the pedal, you want to overtake somebody, you go back to a conventional mode and use all the power of the engine. HCCI engines are pretty simple in concept, but they take a lot of technology. Direct injection, variable valve technology, variable valve lift, and a whole lot more. But guess what? It's really worth it. We, we get up to 15% fuel economy benefit, but that includes also the direct injection and the variable valve train components we add to this engine to enable HCCI. HCCI engines can provide a 15%, that's a 1-5% improvement in fuel economy. Now, if engineers can keep on developing the internal combustion engine running on gasoline like that, we're going to have these piston engines around for at least another hundred years.